The story plays as message and metaphor for Bill O'Reilly. He believes that in this episode, you are seeing the collapse of law and order. It's good to have you back. What's your take? Well, when your producer told me uh, this was going to be the topic, I immediately got out my old school reporter's notebook. Remember that, uh, Cuomo? Used to, everybody used to have them. I have several. Disappeared and now they have this. Okay, so this is a, <laughs> not a complicated story. Um, there is a judge in the Bronx. His name is Eugene Bowen. Mm -hmm. Every prosecutor in the borough of the Bronx doesn't want to appear before him. He's the most lenient judge in New York City. He simply will not enforce the law. He believes that the justice system in New York State is corrupt and bigoted against African Americans. He himself is African American. So when these six criminal migrants are brought uh, by the prosecutors in front of him, prosecutors knew that this guy was going to let all of them out. They were wrong. He actually kept two in. But one of the guys that he let out is Hector de Sousa Villarata, okay, who was arrested with a nine millimeter pistol. Of course, the case not adjudicated in New York because they don't care. So Judge Bowen let Hector out. No bail. Even though Hector had been arrested, shouldn't be here in the first place. On and on and on and on. So the New York Post covered it, put Hector's picture on the front page, embarrassing the federal government, who well understands how corrupt, chaotic, and irresponsible New York State is. And then ICE went in and arrested three of these guys. Now, this is an extension of what I went through this weekend when I attended the funeral of Detective Jonathan Diller in Massapequa, Long Island, who was shot dead by a man named Guy Rivera, who was arrested, Rivera was, a year ago, 23 April, for having a loaded illegal gun, even though Rivera had two felony convictions and served two prison sentences. He was out on the street. So he got another loaded gun and killed 31-year-old Detective Diller. And I was standing there in the funeral, okay? Now, anybody watching us tonight worldwide, if you don't know that the state of New York's justice system has collapsed entirely, you don't want to know. You're lying to yourself. This is beyond disgraceful. This is so dangerous. There is not one resident in this state where we both are tonight who is safe. Not one. And then it goes down from the governor to the mayor to the judges. And believe me, this Bowen's the worst of them. But there are scores of these judges. One more point. All you hear out of the Go White ahead. House is gun crime. Gun crimes. You don't hear criminals with guns, illegal criminal migrants with guns. Never hear that. It's all about guns, not individuals wielding the guns. Okay? So this drives me and everybody at that funeral. There were thousands of people. 10,000 was a crowd estimate. About 6,000 cops there. A hundred percent with one exception, perhaps, because the Attorney General of the United States was in attendance at the Mass. I was one of the few journalists inside the Mass. But I didn't, I, I actually was happy she was there, because I, I'm hoping that I can persuade these people to stop the madness. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.